Hey guys, what's up? It's Zerf Bellrose here. We're bringing you some Pokemon Go Battley content together with my little sidekick here, little baby Maggie, as you may have known. I did have a uh, little girl with my wife recently, and she is just about a few weeks old, cute as a button, and ready to shout cast some battles with me today. So uh, I got some spice for you guys today. This is some good stuff. So we've got Greninja again coming back for this season in the season of spice, in the season of interlude, and... We've got an Ariados lead, as well as a Walrein safe swap to draw out the fighters and anything that doesn't really want to see the uh, Ariados. So I won't talk too much about it. It's an AVB team, more or less. We're going to watch these battles, and you guys are going to have fun watching Greninja sweep the hell out of things. So without further ado, let's get into these battles. First battle, we've got Marowak on the lead. It's a horrible lead. Honestly, kind of scary. I want to align this with my Greninja, so I'm going to instantly swap into Walrein to start getting head on energy and start threatening shields but they quickly swap in azumarill so this is kind of tough so i what i have to do is i have to try and throw these earthquakes with good timing i know that i can win this matchup but if my opponent starts committing all of their shields this is going to be a dicey one so my opponent looks to shield and this is going to be rough so i got a shield in kind i know that if my opponent's willing to commit shields they know that they want to keep their marowak on my Ariado. so i have to do everything in my pos and in the realm of possibility to keep that from happening now i need to continue throwing these earthquakes and doing it with good timing to prevent my opponent from a getting more energy than they're supposed to and b being able to eventually swap out and catch an earthquake on something later so um i think i let this one go here because i know that i can survive at least one play rough and they're not going to be able to do much damage with anything else. So I know that that's the only move they're going to be able to hit me with. So I got the Earthquake here. Now, I will save a shield if they get to a move before I can take this thing out. Um, and I'm going straight for Earthquake right now. I think that an Ice School Spear would be able to take it from the range that it's going to be at. But I'm going to play it safe. And I'm going to go ahead and just shield this and then go straight for the Earthquake. Because I know that I can get to the Earthquake before they can get to another move. And that way I can guarantee that I win Switch here. Now I overfarm by one so that I can try and have a little bit of energy to do a little bit of chip damage on the Marowak if it's going to come in. Um, but honestly, we're just we're just going to have to find out and see here. Um, you know, mess around and find out. That's this whole season, right? So going to throw this Icicle Spear into the Marowak to do a little bit of chip damage before going down. And we're going to come in with Greninja now because Greninja basically hard counters the whole AWAC. The GOAT, unfortunately, has met its match. And they're going to throw Shadow Ball, which does a lot of damage, but it's resisted, which is nice. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to go for Night Slash. They're not swapping out. So I assume that what they've got is probably not going to be good against Greninja. And instead, no, they've got an Altaria, and all I've got left is Greninja and an Ariados. What am I going to do? I actually think I have these battles backwards. So this is the second set. The first set comes before this one, but we went on a 10-0 streak. So this battle is actually one of my favorite ones because of just how close it was. But you just just watch. Like, we're going to continue to whittle down this this um, this uh, Altaria before it can get to another Sky Attack here. And they're going to take me out with the Sky Attack. Now, what I have to do on Greninja, only way I win this game is I get to a Night Slash before they get to another move and take me out with the Dragon Breast. Able to get there just in time. Just in time to get the Night Slash. Just enough damage to take out the Altaria. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played to my opponent. Practically hard countered me almost the whole damn time. But that's all right. That's all right. So, Ariados is going to come in on Talonflame. God awful lead. We've got to get out of this one. So I'm going to go straight to Wall Rain again. Try and draw out their hard counter to my Greninja. But they don't come in with anything. So now, what they're going to... I'm going to just load up on Energy and look to CMP tie with what could possibly be a Brave Bird before they dip. And they actually flow the, throw the Flame Charge here. So it looks like they're willing to play this matchup out. So I'm going to throw with good timing my Ice School Spears here. You can throw two Powder Snows before the Incinerate goes through. She's passed out. She loves she's, she loves some of my voice, apparently. She's passed out. Um, throwing two Ice School Spears. Now, they gain desyncs on me, and I lose a turn here. I should have been able to throw that Ice School Spear before they got to this Flame Charge, and I could have potentially saved myself a shield. But... That's okay. Now they're out of energy, and all I have to do now is either take their shields. Oh, they, and they're shielding, so they might not have anything in the back that can deal with wall rain effectively. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna throw these ice school spears, and I'm just I'm just looking to do as much as I can. Greninja's gonna come in real quick though. He's gonna try and farm down. They come in with Sunfisk. I want y'all to see how much damage a surf does to a Sunfisk. I don't have real any any many booms on this team. 
Kaboom! But we're gonna kaboom on a stun fist because stun fist is stupid. And I'm gonna be able to get to the night slash before my opponent's able to get to the earthquake to take out my Greninja. So Greninja is gonna be putting on a show here in this battle, taking out stun fist. They're gonna come in with a cast form. Now, cast form has weather ball normal, weather ball rock, and energy ball. So I am just going to look to do as much damage as I can to the cast form. And I'm pretty certain that my Ariados, now that their shields are down, is going to be able to get to a move before they can get to two rock weather balls to take him out. So, um, and I've also still got the wall ram with a little bit of energy, I think, too. But energy ball, boom! Wow, man. Didn't have a hand on the button. It's not enough for a kaboom, but it's just, it's enough damage. It's, 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 it's like tearing paper. Greninja's like tearing paper. It's super easy, but it, it, it makes noise. So Weather Ball Rock is going to do roughly about 50% of, of his health. They're going to try to swap in their Talon Flame to either catch a move or try and get an incinerate through, but they failed to do so uh, because the Talon Flame had no HP left. So now Lunge is going to come through and take out the cast form, and that is a good game. All right, next battle, we've got Ariados is on the lead against the Stunfisk. Not a great matchup. Lunge isn't resisted, but Poison Sting is, so I like to just bail out because both of my backline have a much more um, effective moveset against the Stunfisk when, as opposed to Ariados. So I'm going to go ahead and shield up this first move, expecting it to be a Discharge. I'm kind of surprised they didn't throw a Discharge. They come in with Clefable, which is exactly what I wanted to see. You know, they're not going to want to have the Ariados against their Clefable, so bringing it now against the uh, the Walrein, right? The thing is, is that Walrein is so far ahead on energy now that it's really easy for it to pressure shields and possibly win me switch here. So, I'm going to keep throwing Icicle Spears with as good timing as I possibly can here just to try and, and maximize the energy gains that I'm getting versus my opponent. And hopefully, potentially, they get both shields here or win switch. And I've got both shields off my opponent and they're going to be able to get to a move just as I get to my high school spear. Now, I could either win switch here, but I'm going to let it go. I think that this is a better this is better suited farm for my Ariados. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to farm down, taking some resistant charm damage. And then I've got a lunge and some ready for that stun fist. But they come in with Bastion. No, it's not a Bastion. It's a Probo Pass. Oh, dude. Dude, Probo Pass has Thunderbolt and it has Rock Slide. And that's dangerous because it walls my Ariados. So best I can do here is have Greninja flip it on this pancake, gonna farm down after shielding this move, and all I can do is get to a Surf and a Night Slash against that Probo Pass because Ariados is effectively not gonna be able to do anything to it. So they're gonna come in with Probo Pass. I'm gonna be ahead on energy by just enough. I'm hoping maybe I get a boost and I can get to one more uh, bubble for a Surf. They're using Rock Throw, not Spark, so I know their energy gain is actually pretty bad. So it's going to take them a bit to get to a move. And I'm sure they would have gotten close to it. But I'm able to get to the Surf right beforehand. And Greninja takes out the Probo Pass. Good game. All right. Surfing into this next battle here. We've got Trevenant on the lead. So this is actually not a horrible, uh, horrible lead. All three Mons have excellent play against Trevenant. But I like to swap out into Wall Rain immediately um, if I can. Um, the first, the first, the next set's going to have another Trevenant lead that I actually tried to play it out a little bit, but I've learned to just swap to Walrein, uh, and they stay in. So I'm going to get their shield before they can swap out, and Nine Tails with Charm comes in, and I'm just going to go straight for the Earthquake here. My opponents either they're going to Charm down or they're going to try and use their energy or something, and I'm just going to go for it. And whether they shield or not is up to them. Ooh, hits him with the Earthquake, which is great for me because now I can throw an Ice School Spear and get it within the perfect farm range for Ariados to come in and get just enough energy to do something with. So Ice School Spear is just barely going to not be enough. It's got a bit of HP left, but again, it's just enough for me to shield once and farm down with my Ariados. And when I do that, I'm going to have enough energy to threaten the thing that comes back in, whether that be the um, Trevenant or be something else. Because either way, it's going to be really afraid of the lunge that it's about to take. So Trevenant comes back in. I'm going to throw the lunge here. And I'm pretty sure they're at six Shadow Claws right now. So what I know is they're going to get to one more and try and throw that Shadow Ball. So I'm going to go ahead and catch it on Greninja and take a resisted debuffed Shadow Ball on Greninja like a champion here. Resisting Shadow Ball, it does a lot, but it's Greninja. So, I mean, they're going to come with Registeel. So this sucks, but I've got a shield. And Greninja actually gets to moves really quick. It takes like three or four bubbles to get to a Night Slash and Surf. So, you're going to see Greninja 
whittle away at this Reggie Steel, doing it in such a fashion that you wouldn't believe it should win this matchup, but it really does. Greninja with energy and a shield is really an astounding thing. My opponent throws a move here. I'm assuming it's either Zap Cannon or, or Focus Blast. Either way, I have to shield. There's no way I win this game if I don't shield. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw my own move here, trying to throw right before they would get to a move. Now, they were one away or got to the move. Watch this. Watch this. Quickly catches. They were one away and they were smashing the button. Able to catch a Focus Blast on Ariados for some massively resisted damage. And Trevenant can't get to a move before Ariados gets to the Cross Poison to take it out. And now Ariados just has to get to a move. And he's going to be able to get to at least two moves before the Registeel is able to get to him. But my opponent concedes that's a good game. Very well played. All right. Next game here. I got a nine tails lead. This is what I love to see. Any charmer or any fairy on the lead is food for my spider. And I love it. So my opponent comes in with Drapion. And I do stay in a little bit longer than I probably should here. Uh, but honestly, it's because I don't really have a great answer to Drapion in the back. So I'm going to go for a lunge here to debuff its attack. And I'm going to come in. After, uh, and I'm trying to catch the crunch here on Greninja. But I'm going to come in with Greninja because at least I know I can survive a sludge bomb. And I get some moves much quicker. Uh, and I don't have to worry about worry about um, sacrificing my wall rain this early in the game. Because even though wall rain would have a much better time against this thing probably than Greninja, um, I don't want Greninja on that Charmer. But they come in with a Unovan Stunfisk, which is kind of odd to me. I would have come in with the Alola Ninetales to charm down the Greninja, but I'll take it. My opponent goes ahead and shields this move. And I might be able to get to another. Now, I'm actually just going to let it go. Reason why, I have alignment that I want. And with two shields, I can comfortably flip every part of this game in my favor. So, Wall Rain's going to come in, and I do have to be cautious of my opponent um, catching a move on me here. So, I shield this up because I figure it's going to be a discharge. I know Wall Rain can take a discharge, but I'm trying to overfarm by a bit just to make sure that... I mean, I know my opponent's going to catch a move no matter when I throw, so I'm just trying to be cautious to throw um, in good, you know, before they have the chance to catch, basically, with with good uh, using the force of my own, you know. There's not really another way to do it, but they get the discharge off. I'm going to throw one more and get to the Icicle Spear. This is going to take out the Stun Fisk or leave it with very little HP. And the Stun Fisk is going to be left with, like, one hit left by immediately swapping a Ninetales, expecting them to swap and or stay in and i will be able to farm it either way so i'm gonna go for these cross poisons here Ariados is loaded with two moves that's basically a good game i i throw fast move like a fool but it's fine i'm just trying to practice my energy management as it were so i get the other cross poison off cross poison is going to take out this alone and nine tails and all i need to do is throw a couple poison stings at this stun fisk and that's going to be a good game here and we get the boost just to bm on the opponent a little bit so they're very well played, my opponent, despite them uh, having a little bit of a bad situation there as far as the alignment. I definitely would have come in with the Charm Tails. That would have been a little bit more problematic. All right. No, so this was this was the first set, because I normally took a screenshot of the first set. So, all right. So, to get into rank 9 here in this first set. 5-0. Here we go again. Aritos getting on the lead against the Skarmory. I have I lost so many leads with this team today now that I think about it. So going straight to Wall Rain. My opponent staying in far too long, allowing me to get way ahead on energy. I will shield the first move as I normally do if they stay in and throw a move, just so that I can make sure that my energy advantage usually trumps a shield advantage um, in a secondary match if they don't have a hard counter, which they would have swapped in a hard counter. And that's something that I like to bring up um, once in a while. Little, little tip, this is the way I play my matchup. So if I safe swap right away, I start building up on energy, and my opponent doesn't swap out right away. They want to throw a move first. I'll usually shield the move so that I can make sure I've got HP. Here we go. They don't shield the Earthquake. That's going to allow Wall Ring to guarantee flipping switch here on this Stun Fisk. Now, um, we like to shield. We like to shield that first move just to make sure that uh, the the Mon that I've got in at the time has uh, the energy advantage it needs to trump whatever they come in because it won't be a hard counter if they stay in. Um, so I'm actually going to look to. I think I let this go here. 
Yeah, I'm going to let this go. I'm going to let my wall ring go down. They've got a Skarmory, and their best answer to my wall ring was a Stunfisk. So I'm going to farm down with Greninja and start getting hot on my energy here. And what they're going to come in with is a freaking Ninetales. So I don't swap out immediately. I'm going to chip first. I want to throw the Surf here into the Ninetales, do some damage, and then swap out. I know that the Skarmory matchup isn't great, but my opponent took a move earlier, and they took a lot of damage in doing so. So they're actually not looking great on their Skarmory. And at this point, my win condition is with Greninja. What I needed, I know I'm going to lose this matchup. My opponent's going to get to a move here, and I'm going to let him have it. I'm going to let him get the Sky Attack off, because it's going to take him out there at no energy. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go, and I'm going to bubble all the way down with Greninja... Because that's going to allow me to get to two Surfs. We just saw how much one Surf did to that Ninetales. I'm going to shield this here. My opponent needs at least two Charms to take me out. Maybe three. Um, and if I can get to two Surfs here, just like that, we're going to be able to take the shield off the opponent. And then we're going to be able to take the rest of their HP. And that is going to be a good game. Because Surf does so much damage from Greninja. I can't wait till this thing gets Hydro Cannon. It's going to one-shot things like you wouldn't believe. Good game to my opponent. Little baby's asleep through this whole thing, man. I wish I could sleep this soundly. Looking into this next game here, dude. Ariados versus Clefable. This is one of my favorite things to do is see a Charmer on the lead because I know it's staying very far away from my, uh, uh, my Greninja. They come in with the uh, Talonflame. My safest answer probably would have been uh, Wall Ring, but I really want to keep my Greninja away from the Charmer, so I'm going to use it here. I'm going to put up both shields because I know that if I throw with good timing by throwing three versus their two, I'm going to be able to start putting pressure on shields unless they just want to let it go. Which, honestly, if I was the opponent, I would have just let these moves go so I can get charms down on my uh, on the Clefable. But uh, my opponent looks to throw another move here. I'm going to shield up again. I know that at this point they're going to need another whole three incinerates to get to a move. And I can bubble all the way down and do just what I did in the last game. Throw two Surfs at this Clefable. If I am able to not tank a move in the middle, I think a Charm would take me out here. But that's okay. Um, if the game is working properly, I would have only been able to get one Surf off. But it is what it is. Um, successfully denied. It's the skill, right? Successfully denied the move and got to a second Surf. Going to be able to almost take out this Clefable. Going to take out the Clefable. My opponent's got one Pokemon left, and it's going to come in. Azumarill against Ariados. Even with a shield. Sweetie. Even with a shield. Ariados is going to be able to put the hurt on it, and then Walring can come in, and Walring can take care of the rest with an Earthquake. That's all right. That's basically good game from here. Now, um, definitely, definitely would have been worse had I come in with uh, Walring against the Talonflame. I'm going to be... A I'm going to be a dick, and I'm going to catch this Ice Beam, by the way, on, on the Wall Rain. Um, here, in this case, there's I, I came in with Greninja right away because I wanted to keep it away from the Charmer, right? We keep it away from the Charmer because then that way, it doesn't have to be met up against the Azumarill later on in the game. Uh, so, Vigoroth on the lead here. Counter users, you want to keep them away from both the back line. Uh, my opponent's staying in here. I don't really know why, um, but they must not have anything in the back to deal with Ariados, which is completely fine with me. So I'm going to try to win this lead matchup. I don't want my opponent to get away from me and be able to get counters off on either of my back two mons. Even with the lunges that I'm throwing out with a decreased attack, it's still not something that I want them to have to deal with. So I'm going to throw um, after their second body slam here. I am actually going to shield this one, I believe, to preserve some HP on the Aridos. Um, I'm going to go for a cross poison bait here, I believe. Yeah, I go for the Cross Poison Bait because the Lunge would take them out from here, and I assume that since they've got some energy, they probably want to use it. So, they're going to shield this up, and I'm going to be able to go for lunch immediately after a little bit of lag. Um, and Ariados is going to be able to either take the second shield off my opponent or take him out. They're going to spend their second shield. That's fine with me. I know that I can actually comfortably take a Body Slam and take some counters at this point. So, I'm going to let it go. And I'm kind of expecting my opponent to, sh to swap out at some point. But I've got a shield advantage. I've got a lunge ready to go. And my opponent is going to let me have this lunge. And I will be able to take out Vigoroth right away. Which is going to leave my Greninja and Walrein to fend for whatever's in the back. Now they bring in a Walrein. Or they, I bring in the Walrein to immediately as my sort of safe swap. In case whatever they come in was weak to uh, my water types. But uh, they're going to come in with Haunter. And without a shield that actually hurts quite a bit. 
And we're going to take out the Haunter before it can get to the Sludge Bomb. A Shadow Punch wouldn't have bothered me. And they've got a Wall Rain. That's a good game. I would have been able to grind that out, but the Wall Rain was actually a pretty strong thing to have. So Altaria lead. Once again, we're met with the Altaria against Ariados, and this is unfortunate. Now, this is one of my favorite games, I think. I think I remember this one being ridiculous. I can't really swap out of this. Um, I do come in, I catch on the wall rank. Now, I don't shield because that was, the, that was the point of catching. If I wanted to shield, I would have stayed in with Ariados. So, they're going to get the Sky Attack off, and then they're going to come in with Azu. Now, I'm at a disadvantage because they got a Sky Attack off on me, so I've got to commit both shields if I want to win this matchup. My opponent, hopefully, doesn't shield the first Earthquake. Because if they don't, I can actually start using baits. They don't shield the Earthquake. That's great. I'm going to start loading up on energy. I'm going to commit shields. I want to try and win switch so that I can keep their um, I can keep their Altaria away from whatever I've got in the back. I want, I want to try and keep it on wall rain. So what I'm actually looking to do here is I'm either going to win switch or I'm actually going to try and catch a move on Ariados like this because I, I got rid of their last shield. So now what I want to do, is, or I got rid of one of their shields and I've got two cross poisons. What I want to do is I want to get their other shield and combo play it. They actually threw a move. And I figured it's probably an ice beam, but instead they threw the play rough. So my opponent throws play rough, resist it, and I'm going to be able to get a cross poison off. Now I've got wall rain loaded with energy, ready for whenever the Altaria comes back in. And cross poison is going to take out the Azu. I'm going to be able to get a lunge just in time before the Altaria goes down. Now, why do I want to go for cross po or why not go for cross poison for more damage? Because I know that an ice school spear from my wall ring will take it out. I would rather get the debuff just in case. And they're staying in. I'm gonna get the ice school spear off. This is going to guarantee that I'm taking out this Altaria. And this poor Altaria, ladies and gentlemen, just got clapped. And they're gonna come in with Bastion. This is this is great. So we're gonna go for the earthquake. Earthquake is going to do a ton of damage to this Bastion. And I'm gonna have Greninja clean up the match. Watch this. Bam! Bam does a lot of damage to that Bastion. And then they're gonna see Greninja come in and bubble them down. But they're gonna try and throw a move. But I've got a shield. And they're gonna go down. My opponent is gonna go down. My opponent's gonna go down to bubbles from a Greninja. GG's, GG's, GG's. All right, we got the next game coming up here. It's Ariados versus Metacham. This is actually a very favorable lead despite it having Psychic. Um, so I just basically need to make sure that I don't tank a Psychic and I'm good. So I throw lunges right away, uh, but I do go... Uh, I, I look to over farm by one because I expect them to at least get to an Ice Punch. But I throw those Power Punch right there. Can't speak. They go Power Punch right away. I have no need to shield this. Uh, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start going for lunges now. I, I'm just over farming because I'm expecting them to swap out. I don't expect my opponent to uh, to play this out. They usually don't. So they come in with Bastion on right away, and I'm coming in with Greninja right away because because I'm gonna be able to get to more Surfs than they can get to Smackdowns or uh, that, than Stone Edges. And Surf actually does a considerable amount of damage, like we just saw in that other matchup. So. I'm gonna shield this move. It takes them seven. It takes me, I think, three than four or four than three to get to moves. So I'm gonna actually be able to win this because I'm gonna be able to get to more moves than they're gonna be able to get to, and I have more moves than they have shields. So Night Slash is gonna come in, and it's gonna either take out this Bastion or they're gonna want to waste their other shield. They let the Bastion go down. I'm gonna come in, or they're gonna come in with Metacham. I'm gonna get the Surf off to just do some chip damage with this Metacham before I go down, and they're gonna let it go. That's a decent amount of damage. They're going to counter me down here. And I'm going to come in with Ariados. I'm going to immediately throw the lunge because I want a shield or I want to take this Metacham out so that it doesn't have to deal with my wall ring. My opponent smartly shields and they're going to throw another move. Now, the lunge has come through and I don't remember if they were at enough energy for a psychic, so I shield. And it's an ice punch. They revealed that they have power up punch and ice punch. Now, I have nothing to fear from this Metacham. They have no way to take out my Ariados, so I'm gonna, even though I have no shields, I'm going to have to let this go. But if I hadn't shield, I would let go. Um, I'm going to farm almost all the way down. Uh, I don't want to tank another potential Ice Punch because I don't remember how much energy they had, and I don't know if they've got extra energy. So I'm going to go for this Cross Poison just to finish it off. And my opponent is then going to come in with what looks like it might have been a Swamper, but I, it was actually Seismitoad. And uh, I'm going to be able to get some lunges off here. And what I'm looking to do is I'm just going to use lunge as many times as I can. So that's twice. If I if I stay in, they're just going to farm me down. 
Um, not that Walrein needs to worry about it, because Seismitoad is not by any means a threat. Um, but it does have some some boomy moves, like Earth Power. Yeah, but throw Earth Power. That's weird. Um, but that's a good game. Yeah, that's a good game. Bastion getting clapped by Greninja is one of the best things I must have done all day today. That's going to be the final battle of the set. Wrapping up another 5-0 to end a 10 0 streak. I could have even gone for more. I honestly, I just stopped after 10. Uh, I was, I had, I just had stuff to do today, and little dear Maggie here is one of those things I'm gonna take care of, and making sure that uh, <laughs> she's, she's all awake now. I must have woken her up with my shouting. That's okay. I appreciate you guys coming in here to watch this again. This video. I just, I love Greninja, and I have to play a Greninja team like every season. I have to figure out a way to make it work. Greninja's like my favorite starter ever. So I love making teams around it. I've been making teams around it since season eight when we had our first round of Great League Remix. And that is going to do it for today's video. This is kind of an impromptu one. I didn't plan on doing this video, but I had I had a 10 0 run and I recorded it. I'm like, you know what? This is going on YouTube, damn it. <laughs> and a big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. You guys are the greatest supporters I could ever ask for. Uh, you guys get access to all of my teams, my strategies, all that stuff, and link in the description if you'd like to check it out. I also do coaching, which is something that you might want to get into if you're looking to come out strong in the next season when the ELO drops. But I'm looking to bring some spice this season. I'm not playing any meta teams. Wall Rain is the most meta thing on this team. This is Open Great League. Nobody plays Ariados and Greninja and freaking Open Great League. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I appreciate your support, your watching. Please like, please comment if you're having a good uh, time in Great League. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!